my topic is coefficient of correlations by rank difference method and product movement method in introductions we see about how to find the coefficient of correlations by using spearman rank correlation coefficient and pearson product movement method meaning of correlation damn correlation indicate the relationship between two variables if one variable is changed increases the another variables also increases and next is coefficient of correlations the coefficient of correlations is same as the correlations the coefficient of correlations express the degree of relationship between two or more variables limit for co uh, coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlations lies between minus 1 to plus 1 uh, types of correlation there are three types of correlation first is positive correlations negative correlations and uh, zero correlations uh, in positive correlations if the value of two variables changes in the same directions if one variable is increases the other variables also increase if one variable is decreases the other variables also decreases next negative correlation if the value of two variables changes in the opposite directions is called as negative correlations if the one variable increases the other variables also also decreases if one variable decreases other variables also increases next is zero correlation zero which means it is uncorrelated if the change in one one variable does not affect the change in other variable the variables are said to be uncorrelated methods to find the coefficient of correlation there are two methods to find the coefficient of correlation first is kell pearson coefficient of correlations and spearman rank co coefficient of correlations and next is um, the spearman rank correlation coefficient is to find the coefficient of correlations uh, uh, was developed in 1904 by charles edward spearman uh, spearman rank correlation coefficient formula is p is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n into n square minus 1 here p is the spearman rank correlation coefficient and d is the difference between the rank of each observation and n is the number of observations next is problem compute the correlation between the following set of score by rank difference method um, uh, these are the individual and next uh, next is mark in the subject of history and mark in the subject of uh, civics and next uh, column is r1 so uh, in uh, this uh, in second column the that is the mark of the students taken the this is the history mod so you have to put a uh, rank for this mod so uh, in r1 we put the rank for this mark and r2 is the civics civics uh, in third column that is a civics mod in r2 we put a rank for the civics mod so next d uh, next find d is equal to r1 minus r2 uh, uh, we find r1 and r2 we have to subtract this two and we find the answer next you have to you have to square the d so this next you have to sum summate all the value that is 92 and apply in the formula and final answer is 0 0.58 next is pearson product moment method uh, Pearson product movement method is also find a co also to find a coefficient of correlation. It is denoted by R. Uh, Pearson product movement method formula R equal to n into summation x y minus summation x summation y divided by root of n into summation x square minus summation x the whole square n into summation y square minus summation y the whole square. So, where n is the number of paired values, summation x is the summation of sum of x values, summation y is equal to sum of y values, and summation x y sum of the product of paired values of x and y. Uh, we already see about the coefficient, the limit of coefficient of correlations lies between plus 1 to minus, minus 1 to plus 1. So, if plus 1 means it is a perfect positive correlation, if minus 1 means it is a perfect perfect negative correlation if zero is no correlated uh, in next uh, pro if this is the pearsman uh, product movement method problem so here 
here the sum are given uh, we find x y x y are there and you have to multiply x and y and find uh, and get the third column and you have only uh, square the x value you have to we we get the fourth column and you have to only uh, square the second column of y and we get the y square so next uh, the sum of x values are summation x is equal to 21 and uh, sum of y value is 105 and sum of xy is 465 and sum of x square is equal to 91 and sum of y square is equal to 2425 so i have applied the value of summation x summation y into the pearson product moment method formula and we get the final answer r is equal to 0 0.962 is in is the value is between plus 0 0.712 plus 0 0.99 so it indicates the strong positive correlation this is the scattered plot for this um, for the strong positive correlations and uh, another one prob uh, problem is that that values r is equal to 0 it indicates that there is a no correlation and um, no correlation means the scatter plot is like this and conclusion today class we see about uh, Spearman rank correlations coefficient and Pearson correlations coefficient uh, to find the coefficient of correlations.